Things are hard, brother. Things are hard, my dear sister. And laysa laha min duni lahi ka shifa. No one can remove that pain except Allah. So wake up. Wake up. Spend some time with Allah. Spend some special quality time with your Lord. Feel it in your heart. Wake up and say Allahu Akbar. Brother, wake up and pray to Hajj. Stop snoring all night long. Wake up. Let's wake up and supplicate. Let's wake up and say Allahu Akbar while they are sleeping. And call upon our Lord like that of Noah. عليه السلام ولقد نادانا نوح فلنعم المجيب indeed نوح عليه السلام he called upon us and how excellent our response and how excellent was our response how we responded to him and we are the best to respond brother right now you have the fear of your children because when they go to school you are scared when they are outside you are scared you have no control we have no control we are scared because they are not raised the way we were raised they have a different world teaching many things that we did not know we were not taught at their age but now everything is open for them they see what they're not supposed to see they hear what they're not supposed to hear and we have no control on that the only one who will save us is who Allah so wake up Alhamdulillah. <coughs> الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وما كان معه من إله المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضى أن لا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليل القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه العتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعده my dear brother and my dear sister you have no one except him so say لا إله إلا الله you have nowhere to go but to him so say la ilaha illallah you have no one you have no provider you have no sustainer except him so say la ilaha illallah worship him alone give him all forms of worship in everything you do kul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiya wa mamati lillah everything you give it to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is one in his kingdom and he absolutely deserves to be worshipped alone i bear witness <coughs> and i bear witness our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is allah's last and final messenger he is the answer to all your questions when it comes to allah so whenever you are looking for advice just go to muhammad rasulullah allah said if you obey him you will be guided may allah guide us all brothers and sisters in faith allah the exalted said to his beloved prophets to our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in surah to isra and at night 
and during the night for tahajjud me pray tahajjud for tahajjud make tahajjud for tahajjud wake up and pray na filatalak an additional prayer for you asa an yab'athak rabbuka maqaman mahmuda so that your lord may raise you to a high status so that allah will raise your rank so allah will place you at a position of praise allah brothers and my dear sisters life is getting tougher and tougher things are hard life is hard doors are closing on us we are living in fear the fear for the future the fear for the well-being of our children the fear for the future of our children you name it many problems distress depression heartbreak many problems brothers and sisters in faith so my dear brother to you to us all and to my dear sister o min al-layl fatajjad bihi nafilatan lak let's wake up and pray let's wake up and pray during the night while others are sleeping wake up and supplicate while others are snoring wake up and make dua and pray while others are busy wasting their time on social media during the night you wake up and get connected with your lord wake up and say allahu akbar wake up and pray nafila so that allah will ease our pain so that allah will make things easy for us brothers and sisters life is very tough life is getting harder and harder every day and the only thing that can loosen it that can make it soft that can ease it is your standing during the night and saying allahu akbar say that call allah in a low voice while others are sleeping wake up and call your lord in a low voice while they are sleeping while they are snoring call him in a low voice like zakaria alayhi salam if nada rabba nidan khafiya remember when zakaria call upon his lord in a low voice so we come and let's call let's supplicate let's make dua let's cry our heart to allah because life is getting tougher and tougher so we come and pray when zakaria woke up during the night when zakaria prayed when zakaria called upon his lord in a low voice what was the nature allah said if nada rabbahu nidan khafiya when he called allah said so to ali imran fanadat al malaika wa huwa qaim yusalli fi al mihrab while he was standing while he was praying in the sanctuary the angel call upon him and allah yubashshiruk allah is giving you black tidings and allah yubashshiruk allah is giving you good news of yahya you wanted a child that's why you call your lord in a low voice allah said to give you black tidings to give you the bushra to give you the good news that he has granted you a child my point brothers and sisters when was he called when was he given this black tidings 
وهو قائم يصلي في المحراب. While he was standing praying in the sanctuary, while standing praying in the place of praise. So let's wake up and pray. Things are hard, brother. Things are hard, my dear sister. And laysa laha min duni lahi kashifa. No one can remove that pain except Allah. So wake up. Wake up. Spend some time with Allah. Spend some special quality time with your Lord. Feel it in your heart. Wake up and say Allahu Akbar. Brother, wake up and pray tahajjud. Stop snoring all night long. Wake up. Let's wake up and supplicate. Let's wake up and say Allahu Akbar while they are sleeping. And call upon our Lord like that of Nuh alayhi salam. وَلَقَدْ نَادَانَا نُوحِ فَلَنِعْمَ الْمُجِيبُونَ Indeed, Nuh alayhi salam, he called upon us and how excellent our response. And how excellent was our response. How we responded to him. And we are the best to respond. Brother, right now, you have the fear of your children. Because when they go to school, you are scared. When they are outside, you are scared. You have no control. We have no control. We are scared because they are not raised the way we were raised. They have a different world. Teaching many things that we did not know. We were not taught at their age. But now, everything is open for them. They see what they're not supposed to see. They hear what they're not supposed to hear. And we have no control on that. The only one who will save us is who? Allah. So wake up. Wake up and cry to Allah. Wake up and call Allah in a low voice. Wake up and call Allah like that of Nuh. وَلَقَدْ نَادَنَا نُوحِ فَلَنِعْمَ الْمُجِيبُونَ When he called, what was the answer? What was the response? Listen. فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَأَهْلَهُ مِنَ الْكَرُبِ الْعَظِيمِ Allah said, and we saved him. May Allah save you and your children. And we saved him and his family, listen to Allah, من الكرب العظيم from the great calamity, من الكرب العظيم from the great agony, من الكرب العظيم from the, from the tremendous agony. What we are going through today is more than tremendous agony because we don't know the direction of our children. So wake up and pray. Wake up and cry your heart to Allah. Don't sleep, mother. Don't sleep, dear father. It is time for us to have a special time with Allah during the night, crying to him, Ya Allah, guide our children. So wake up. Wake up and make the call. Allah is waiting to respond to you. Didn't you hear what Allah said? وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ دُعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ And your Lord, our Lord promised, He said, call upon me and I will respond to you. So make the call. Wake up and make the call. Life is tough. And none can make it easy except who? Al-Qadir, the able. None is able to make it easy except the able. Who? The most able, Al-Qadir. So wake up. Wake up. No one will help you except Allah. 
Allah is waiting to listen to hear to, to respond to you he wants to hear your voice listen to, to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ينزل الله تبارك وتعالى في كل ليلة إلى السماء الدنيا فيقول هل من سائل فأعطيه هل من سائل فأعطيه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said Allah descend to the lowest heaven every night and listen 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 while you are snoring while you are sleeping Allah is saying هل من سائل is there anyone who is asking for help so that I will help him. Is there anyone who will supplicate while you are snoring, brother? Wake up. Hal min sa'il fa'u'tiya. Is there anyone who is supplicating so that I will grant him his wish? Wake up. And say, Ya Allah, you know what I want. Ya Allah, you know my fear. Ya Allah, you know what I'm afraid of. Ya Allah, the future of my family ya allah my daughter her future ya allah my son his future ya allah i put them in your hand ya allah guide them for me allah is saying hal min sa'il fa utiya he say ya allah my family hal min sa'il he say ya allah he say fa utiya and i will give it to you so wake up wake up and supplicate because it's dangerous out there it's dangerous out there life is tough but it's very unfortunate some of us don't even look at that some of us are not even thinking about the well-being of our own children thinking about their future what is their future going to be the only one who will save you and I is Allah so let's wake up and say Allahu Akbar while others are sleeping qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ayyuhan nas afshu salam wa at'imu at'am wa sallu bil layli wa nasu liyam tadkhulul jannata bi salam aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina rasulillah وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. My dear brother and my dear sister, wake up and say الله أكبر. Allah promised that if we call upon Him, He will respond. So let's call upon Him. Let's put our children in His hand. ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذريتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما. make that دعاء. رب جعلني مقيم الصلاة ومن ذريتي ربنا وتقبل دعاء. make that دعاء. cry to Allah and at the night also brothers and sisters. when Allah descends to the lowest heaven. هل من مستغفر فأغفر له؟ Is there anyone seeking for forgiveness so that I will forgive him? لا إله إلا الله. Is there anyone seeking for forgiveness? Anyone who wants me to forgive him? He should say أستغفر الله at that time. Allah said I will forgive him. So wake up. We are losing a lot during the nights. قيام الليل. It is the practice of the righteous before us. So alaykum bi qiyam al-layl. Let's all start praying during the nights. Do you know? By praying during the nights, your enemies will run away from you. You know that? They will run away from you. Because you have the shield. And that is Allah. So wake up. Wake up and make a lot of dua. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ I pray. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and guide our children. Wake up and pray my dear sister. And place your position. Place your permanent place. 
choose your permanent place book your permanent place in Jannah yeah by praying during the nights تتجافى جنوبهم عن المضاجر يدعون ربهم خوفا وطمعا ومما رزقناهم ينفقون. Who are those? Allah said their sides forsake their beds. They forsake their beds. They leave their beds during the night. They leave that cushy bed, that comfortable bed. They leave it during the night and they say, Allahu Akbar. They are asking, they supplicating. They asking Allah for help. Khawfan in fear. Wattama'a in anticipation and hope. And when you wake up in the morning after praying the night, give somebody help, give some charity, give sadaqah, help somebody and see what Allah will do for you. Allah said, Just Allah said he has something special for you in Qiyamah. Go to sort of that yet. So place your pla book your place in Jannah by praying during the night. They sleep only a little in the night. These are the pious ones. These are the righteous ones. These are the good people. These are the people of Allah. So have a special meeting with Allah every night. I repeat, have a special meeting with Allah every night you will see when you wake up in the morning you have a peace of mind you are happy you don't have money but you have peace of mind the heart is at peace the heart is at rest something that money cannot buy where did you get that from allah you had a special time with your creator so let's wake up and have a special time with our creator ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار اللهم اهد يا أولادنا وبناتنا اللهم رب لنا أولادنا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وضرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا المتقين إماما وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وقوم إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله Don't forget, say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali as much as you can.